Welcome everybody to a new episode. I'm Sideways. Welcome to Seven Max. You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Sam and Max. Taking your souls will satisfy my dark masters once and for all. And then I will use my army of the undead to take over the world. <laughs> Damn you, Jurgen! You owe me five bucks, Sam. <laughs> I never thought he'd go for the cheesy evil laugh. <laughs> Insolent to the last. No matter. Oh, we shall see how you make this of ice cracks after you are dead. Well, looks like this is it, little buddy. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. I wondered where I left my wallet. I can't even remember how we got here. Come on, Max. Remember, we were back in the office, just back from Easter Island. Wait, wait. Do the whole thing with the music and all that. Oh, all right. Oh, nice income. So, welcome back to a new episode of Sam and Max. So, so far, I really enjoyed this uh, game. Hmm, let's see what happens if I don't shoot anything at all. Can I shoot the car? Oh, okay. So, nothing happened. Okay. So, hope this will be a very funny... Doesn't being High Priest of Easter Island and President violate the separation of church and state? What the fuck? Blasphemy! <laughs> Whoa, hang on. <laughs> the holy water is giving me a religious vision. <laughs> A goat born with an HDMI port, <laughs> an unwelcome visitor. Ah, the dead walk the earth, and bells, bells, bells! Hey, not bad. Hello, Commissioner. Oh, not the hen. Not the hen. Oh, Lightning! A dog castle! Yes! A snowy egret! No, a chicken! Do you mind not making so much noise? <laughs> Speak up, Commissioner. He's I can't zombie. hear you. We're having a zombie attack. What's that, Commissioner? Zombie attacks? Jen running George A. Romero in a baby doll t-shirt outside the food court with a $43 gift certificate. We're on the case. The Commissioner says zombie attacks are popping up all over the world like pus-filled boils on the decaying flesh of, well, a zombie. Wait, who's attacking? They're coming from some place called the Zombie Factory. Oh, zombies! Zombie attacks! You wander around aimlessly and see what you can turn up. Meanwhile, I'll actually figure out where they're coming from. One step ahead of you! Okay. So, uh... Let's uh, shoot out the window and see what happens. No! My 11,000 domino chain to the shape of Jar Jar Gabor! Okay, I don't... Hmm. Let's, uh... See the answering machine. This is Sybil. Could you please tell Honest Abe that I'll never speak to him again in my whole life? Ever? Even if I'm being dragged through the streets by wild donkeys? Thanks. Okay. See, wrong button. So, oh, let's see what happened here. Isn't that cute, Max? The rats have set up their own little casino. Where's Jimmy Tootie? I want to show him a new sleeper hold I learned. <laughs> the boss is busy. He can't be too busy for us. We're the ones who gave him his big break. Not to mention various smaller fractures and sprains. The boss is busy. Okay. They don't help us at all, so. What's with this? So, the zombies drink beer. A clue, perhaps? Let's press on. Yeah. Oh. It's closed. Bosco went into hiding when we convinced him T-H-E-M with ah! <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, that was funny. All you can drink water buffet. <coughs> My voice is uh, going out, so <clears throat> I will not 
never dead again. She was the only woman I ever loved. This century, at least. Yeah, maybe you should talk about this with your therapist. She was my therapist. Oh, good. Lamont and Wallace, you're here. Sam and Max, actually. Whatever. Your friend here is driving me crazy. Take him off my hands, would you? No. We will not. Let's, uh... See if you get that uh, stain off. What the hell is that? What's this sticky black goo? That's my gooey molasses tar cake. It's a recipe handed down through my family for centuries. All the way back from the primordial ooze, from the looks of it. <laughs> Isn't that stinky? Or he, she burns stinky? Whee! Hmm. So. Do you know anything about a zombie factory? Sure. I was a foreman at a zombie factory for a year while I was riding my opera. They're good workers. As long as you don't let them unionize. No, this isn't a factory that hires zombies. It's a factory that makes zombies. Oh, well, then, uh, did you say zombies? I thought you said elves. Zombies giving you much trouble, Stinky? If that is your real name. No, they're a nuisance, but at least they eat quickly and leave. Your friend Lincoln is the real horror. <laughs> Come on, give Abe a break. He's on the rebound. He keeps trying to pay me in Confederate money. Who does that? That doesn't even make sense. So, have you heard from Grandpa Stinky lately? Like, from beyond the grave? <laughs> What are you talking about? Grandpa's still on his Himalayan mountain climbing junket. I thought you said Grandpa Stinky was on an around-the-world cruise. Let's watch as the spider tries to free herself from her own web of lies. Oh, he sent me a postcard. His cruise was hijacked by Sherpa terrorists. They ended up making him their god, and now they're following him on a quest to scale the world's tallest peaks. Well, her story does seem to hold up. <laughs> okay. That was pretty nice of Grandpa Stinky to leave his entire restaurant empire to you. <laughs> Some empire? Zombies, deadbeat ex-presidents, trivia cheaters. Makes me wonder if it was worth the effort. If what was worth the effort? Oh, nothing. What's with a sunlamp woman who will call Stinky for the sake of convenience? So that's what that is. Oh, I mean, of course, that's what that is. Have to look my best, you know. The magazine set such an unrealistic standard of beauty for grandpa murderers. <laughs> Can we have your sun lamp? What could you possibly need it for? Max needs a UV bulb for his teeth bleaching regimen. <laughs> you think a smile this white comes naturally? Well, go ahead. I don't need... I mean, I'm done with it. What's a sun lamp doing in a restaurant? Did you think the food wasn't hazardous enough without the threat of melanoma? <laughs> oh, that. I was just going through some of the old things Stinky and Grandpa had in storage. I need a big box for packing things that need to be sent away. We'd like to order something. Supplies are low because of the zombie attacks, so uh, we're probably out. You do realize that's not going to stop us, right? Go ahead. The special. Ah, my special gooey molasses tar cake. It's an ancient family recipe. Ancient? You've heard of the La Brea tar pits, of course. But have you ever <laughs> tasted of them? So, oh. I'll take two slices. Sorry, I used up the blowtorch on some zombies who didn't tip. It's impossible to cut. You're welcome to look at it, though. Just don't touch. Okay. Nothing for us, thanks. Bye. So, we get the sun lamp? Yes. No, let's get the sun lamp. Wanna help me carry this thing around, Max? I just want the bulb. Did you just get deja vu? Just close your eyes and it'll pass. <laughs> What's shaking, Abraham? She's gone. Left me. Who's gone? Sybil! 
course she left you. She dumped you like yesterday's breakfast when she caught you macking on the Moai heads. I was sure it was just one of her moods. Come on, Abe. Take it like a man. Think of all the advantages of being single. Like what? You've got total freedom. Complete lack of direction. <laughs> uh. You can do what you want, when you want. You answer to nobody. And nobody cares if you die. <laughs> you can meet lots of new people. And have a never-ending string of shallow, unfulfilling encounters. <laughs> we seem to be working at cross-purposes, Max. <laughs> Maybe, but this way I get to annoy two people at once. <laughs> Do you know anything about a zombie factory? Do you mean like a factory that comes to life after it's been shut down, cranking out products in a hideous parody of actual production, destroying other factories it comes into contact with? No, that's not what we're looking for. But I wish we were! What do you know about zombies? Pests. Hooligans. They always gather outside the memorial with their million zombie rallies and groanings. Always playing that awful music they listen to. How do you stop a zombie? Beats me. Just between the three of us. I'm pretty hopeless at anything except making speeches. Ah, uh, okay. Keep a stiff, hairless upper lip, Abe. Always. So let's go out. Yep. Let's go to Sibi. Yep. Take an number and I'll be with you. Oh, hi Sam and Axe. I'm uh, out of applications right now, so uh, let's just be friends. <laughs> sure. What happened to Abe? I'm sure I don't know to whom you are referring. So, Mr. Molman. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, Harry. Tell me more about you. Well, let me see. Interesting things about me. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's, uh, that's a nice. What gives, Sybil? Did you start your dating service again? Not quite. All my clients are applying for dates with me. Um, as kind of officers of the law, we have to point out that that's kind of illegal. Yeah. Does that mean we can shoot her to regain health points or something? What? No. Get your heads out of the gutter. It's not like that. I'm looking for my soulmate. Okay. How are you going to find your soulmate? Not by jumping in with the first reanimated statue that comes along. That's for sure. I've got the initial screening, and then rigorous interviews, and finally, the soulmater. I want it! What does the soulmater do? Not sure. I won it in an online auction, and the instructions are all in Sanskrit. Something about ripping souls from across the plains to reunite them with corruptible mortal vessels. Doesn't that sound romantic? I could just die! Sounds like a very real possibility. Mm, okay, so she's doing the zombies? Sure you don't need help with that soulmate or Sybil? If you're not married by now, there's not much time left. There's plenty of time. I still have a lot of data to analyze while I figure out how the soulmate works. So she is doing the zombies. Yes. Have you had a lot of applicants? A few. If you know anybody, anybody else, of course, send them my way. A lot of these guys have no chance. But I'm still interviewing them to be polite. Speaking of which, what kind of movies do you like, Harry? No, I don't go to the movies that much because of my astigmatism. Okay. Don't you want to give Abe another chance? Abe who? You were telling me more about yourself, Harry. I was detailing my various prescriptions and inhalers, if I remember correctly. Okay, that that's really boring, so let's move on. How can you afford to keep your shop, Sybil, when you don't have a new job? I'm still getting residuals from when I was Queen of Canada. 
The new location is a lot better for me. Not as nice as Edmonton with its temperate summers and outstanding cost of living, but I get by. Oh, royalties! I get it! Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Zombies? Where? Hmm. Outside. Irrational fear of zombies. Interesting. But yes, I did get an email about something like that from some friends in Europe into the whole equal rights for the undead thing. Can't remember where exactly. Hmm. Remember to lock up tonight so the zombies can't get in. Get in? There are zombies right outside? I'm not going to lock my door. This is a public place, and they have the right to peacefully assemble just like anyone else. Okay, so you will be luck finding there. your soulmate. This has nothing to do with luck, Sam. It's all about psychology and technology. And you're kind of weird. Harry Molman. Last time we saw you, you were... Yeah, yeah, on the moon. What's all this I keep hearing about zombie attacks? They're everywhere! You boys have guns, right? No. Nope. Are we just not getting through to these people? Yeah, we're really not that complicated, Harry. How are things going with you and Sybil? Oh, she's playing hard to get. But women have a hard time resisting my charms. <laughs> oh, she'll grow to love me. <laughs> You're so fucking weird. I hate to break it to you, Harry, but Sybil's not that into you. She's more into the whole hard rock scene. Just wait till she gets a load of my oboe. Was that clumsy innuendo or a pathetic attempt to sound cool? Both. <laughs> okay. Do you know anything about a zombie factory? Zombies don't make things! They break them! No, it's a factory that makes zombies. Inconceivable! That's like making hate and evil and awfulness. So you're saying you don't like zombies? What have you got against zombies? Disgusting creatures. They're always breaking things. Zombies are why we can't have nice things. Wait, the reason you don't like zombies is that they break things? Yes! Stupid, clumsy undead. And that <laughs> bothers you more than the brain eating? They're hell on knickknacks. Are you still into prismatology? Oh, no. Between the four of us? I wasn't that into it in the first place. You just relocated to the moon for it. Well, think how great docent looks on a resume. <laughs> uh. What are you doing for work these days? Well, I'm hoping the stipend from this job holds me over. Sybil's paying men to be her suitor? Of course not, but they don't know that. <laughs> oh, boy. See you later, Harry. Zombie! Let's say again. Zombie! Ah! <laughs> oh, that that was that was cool. Okay. So let's uh, take it. It makes me feel like I'm in a deli. I am not a piece of meat. Did we take a ticket? Oh um. no. Hmm. Sybil's been serving people left and right. Eh, I cannot do nothing. So let's go to cops. Let's see what the hell we can get from them. <clears throat> Hiya, cops. Do you Hi know? Hi there. Are you tired of paying a lot for your internet service? What? No, not really. Well, those days are over. Welcome to a new type of internet access. S O L. So simple, even a zombie could use it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What? Why he has a new voice? Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Processing. We have gathered extensive marketing data on zombies. Zombies need an easier, less expensive way to access the internet. That's why we developed Stuttgart Online for the greatest concentration of newly active zombies, Stuttgart, Germany. <laughs> You've unlocked a new area. What do you say that for? We do not know. He has been like this ever since the accident. 
Max, when I'm done yammering, remind me we gotta drive to Stuttgart. Quick like a zombie. Drive to Stuttgart. Right. Forgot it already. <laughs> You're selling the internet to zombies? Not just the internet, but much, much more. From what? trivia to music, lifestyles to death styles, and inventive new recipes for brains, Stuttgart Online is the premier <laughs> online zombie destination. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh. Didn't we destroy the internet? Luckily, El Gore was able to recreate the internet from his original plans. What's on the internet that would interest a drowning, glassy-eyed zombie anyway? El Gore recreated the internet in his own image. <laughs> yeah. What's so great about Stuttgart Online? It's the fun, easy-to-use online experience for zombies and zombies at heart. What happened to Bluster Blaster? There was a processing accident while developing our latest invention. I'm fine, Sam. Haddock is the best kind of fish. I'm fine, Sam. <laughs> we regret any inconvenience this may have caused. I'm fine, Sam. Thanks for asking. Can you guys fix Bluster Blaster? They had me fixed before they brought me home. We just want to pimp our car. We no longer offer car upgrades. Our income has been lower than previously forecast. But this neighborhood has the highest accident rate in five states. We have spent a lot of this year out of town, Max. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> So we've devoted our resources <laughs> to developing the ultimate online uh. experience. SOL. After all this time, you're not offering any car upgrades? None yeah. at Let's all. See. We regret the inconvenience. There's a new invention. It is much too dangerous. Intrigued? Go on. It's the super high-powered antenna for wireless internet access while on the road. There are problems. Using it could result in catastrophic electrical failure and spontaneous explosion of your vehicle. We see. And what are the problems? <laughs> we'll take that super high-powered antenna. We spent our entire savings on development. We can only give it to you if you help us market SOL. Take the provided CD launcher and use it to give installation discs to zombies throughout the city. We like marketing. And we love shooting things. They like wearing short pants. <laughs> Would you like to begin driving now? Yep. Affirmative. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Oh. Hello, and welcome to the Pimpla Car oh. Marketing Challenge. Remember that you can now drive using a computer keyboard in addition to your mouse. I want to shoot things. Please deliver the magic of SOL to the displayed number of zombies. We'll make it. And you must do it in the allotted time. Ready, go! Oh, whoops. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. What the be held liable for any injury or loss of life. <laughs> I'm liking the sound of this more and more. Please demonstrate the operation of the antenna to our big winner. Not too late. 
I don't want to see the bright light again. Very uh, well, you get to figure it out for yourself. Okay, so we know how it works. Wow, the cops actually installed something well for once. I won't be able to just pull it off. Okay, so where are we headed, so? Sam? Um, let's go to Stuttgart. Yeah, Lord. Well, here we are in Stuttgart. Very atmospheric. You think this is the big spooky castle the locals were wailing and stammering about? Could be. Hey, look, there's a gaggle of zombies. Politely lining up outside. Ooh, classy. Yeah, Europeans make the most refined undead. This must be the place. <laughs> oh, what's with that gargoyle? I can't tell if he's supposed to be barfing or asking us to tithe. Both are scary. Maybe he's supposed to be an embittered waiter spitting on our food. <laughs> Even scarier. Stand aside, Undead. We have to get inside. Yeah, go film a music video or something. <laughs> Typical zombies with their overinflated sense of entitlement. Can we shoot them? Can I? Can? Can? Finally! Bad guys we can actually shoot and it doesn't do anything! It's oh, like... Oh. Oops. Damn it. There's a pack of clove cigarettes in here. Clove cigarettes? Gilroyal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. For that extra stink of sophistication. Welcome, Agents of the Night, to the Zombie Factory. Oh, hello, sir, Mr. President. Agent Super Bowl! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? The place is being overrun with zombies. Yes, Ladies' Night is always packed. The Master is a genius at promotion. We're here on official freelance police business, Super Bowl. Let us in! Sorry, sir. We're at capacity. You'll have to wait in line. The Master insists. We really need to get in. The line won't move any faster if you keep interrupting me, sir. The line's not moving at all, Super Bowl! <laughs> I don't see your point, sir. Maybe a few uh, Washingtons will help speed up the line. Or even a Lincoln? I hope you're not trying to bribe me, sir. Let us in. You'll have to wait in line. The Master insists. Who's in charge here? Master Jurgen, the greatest leader ever. You said the same thing about Hugh Bliss and the evil president. This is different. Master Jurgen has a castle. He does have a point. <laughs> What is this place, anyway? The zombie factory. Master Jurgen's ancestral home. Garrison of his undead army. Best doors in all of Baden-Württemberg. Okay. Super Bowl. <laughs> Let's do that again. Super Bowl. <laughs> okay. We'll be back. Take your time. We're very crowded tonight. Okay. coffin that's been opened from the inside wait you mean zombies anything good sam looks like the deadbeat undertakers and opportunistic german rats got to him first brain's in decent shape though uh... when they put a stone slab over your corpse you know they really don't want you coming back here lies someone important and tall and anorexic from the looks of it <laughs> oh so we throw the brains and blah 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 okay so i was going to wait but i think i'll dig into this tasty brain right now mm. <laughs> They were about to eat me along with it. Sometimes I wonder if you're really dedicated to this job. Mm. Oh, so we throw it up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> mm. 
Something smells good. I'm proud we found a non-violent solution to our problem. Yes, ripping the brain from a freshly buried corpse was the start of a kinder, gentler Sam and Max. Next. <laughs> That'd be us. Yep. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic clove cigarettes, not allowed. Holy water, taboo. You'll have to throw them away. I could never throw away that. My most cherished possession. Oh, you say that about all your possessions. <laughs> no, I don't. Let us end. Hmm. Very well. Have your IDs ready, please. <gasps> Do the voice! Yes, sir. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie factory. <laughs> okay. So, we got froze again. Yes. Uh, best computer ever. There seems out to be some sort of zombie discotheque. Discotheque? Welcome to the 80s, Sam. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> That's uh, pretty, pretty odd. Do I smell no oh, blob? <laughs> mm, you are the new DJs, I presume. We're Sam and Max, freelance zombie hunters. Ah, oh, yes, the bit players from the Midtown Cowboys. Bit players? We're the stars! Stars? <laughs> Please stop, you'll make me to giggle. <laughs> Ooh, look at me, I'm so edgy and so dirty. Only her family is truly acquainted with the darkness. So what's your story, Emo? I am Jürgen. I am not surprised you don't know me. No one truly knows me. <laughs> and this is my army of the undead. <laughs> With every soul I take, my army grows larger. Oh, I did not just reveal my master plan. Well, that was easy. Back, foul monster. We're here to put a stop to your evil scheme. Yeah, cut it out with the zombies already. Stop me. <laughs> so many others have tried. That is how you say, played, yo. Now you must excuse me, for I am a way to dance! <laughs> I never knew vampires were so... fruity. Not all vampires, Max. Just the European ones. Okay. So, this is all the time I had uh, for today, for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it and liked it. And... Thank you for watching. And, uh... See uh, see you in the next episode. Bye.